Hello and welcome to Jira Lab. In this episode, I will show you a simple example how you can use roles to manage the delete issue permission. Let's have a look at our use case scenario. Two Jira projects share the same permission configuration. Currently, this configuration allows only administrators to delete issues. And by the way, it's a best practice. Your project office manager requirement is that she would like to extend this permission on users who are project managers and manage their projects in Jira. However, they should be allowed to delete issues only in projects which they manage. All right, so to solve this puzzle, first of all, we need to find out what global roles are available in this instance. So we go to administration system and here in security we've got section project roles. And here earlier I created additional project roles and one of them is the project manager. And I will use this role uh, in the permission scheme. Right, so let's have a look at the projects now. So we've got two projects, Team Red and Team Blue. And in Team Red, there will be a permission scheme. Please note that this permission scheme is used by two projects so they share uh, this scheme and now the question to you is do we have to clone the current permission scheme so each project has its own uh, permission scheme and then we will uh, solve the use case question to you the answer is no it would be bad practice Atlassian recommends to use shared configuration objects as often as you can to decrease the effort required to maintain the Jira configuration. So here we've got two projects and only one permission scheme. If we want to make a change, and we are going to do this change right now, we'll have to do it once for two projects. And we, if we had 30 projects uh, of this nature or this kind to manage uh, some kind of projects, uh, then uh, we'll have to still do it only uh, once. So if you look at the ACP exam questions from the perspective that you need to decrease the amount of uh, maintenance, the amount of administration, you will answer them most probably right. So now, how are we going to fulfill this requirement from the use case? We are going to modify the permission scheme. And I did it earlier. I added already the role project manager to this permission. And in this way, this role project manager is in both projects. So for example, in this project Team Blue, if I want to make sure that only specific person project manager has permission to delete uh, issues, I add her to the role project manager. This role project manager in this another project is here. Right, so I'm sure that she will only be able to delete issues in this specific technical Jira project team uh, blue. All right. And if you do this exercise on your sandbox Jira instance, uh, you can test it that uh, you will not be able, if you log in as uh, this user, as this uh, project manager user, uh, you will not be able to delete uh, these issues in another uh, Jira project. Okay, this is all for now. So thank you for watching this episode of Jira Lab and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.